can't think of nothing. Nothing on his own. Come up with something. Come on, LD. Anything. On. I've, I've got nothing. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm serious man? here. F- Just man. a stupid, stupid man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Got nothing for open, an opening. Open with that. You're good. Huh? Open with that, smart ass. Just a stupid, <laughs> stupid man. Just open with that, f- <laughs> This is the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. Listen to the podcast every week. LD's in the house. And Popeye's in the house. Let's get whiskey drunk. Mm. That is right, folks. You made it back to another episode. All our bikeaholics out there. We appreciate it so much. This is the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. The official lab podcast. Mm Mm-hmm. And of course, you're returning to another loaded episode loaded. of the Lab Podcast. This is the only podcast you... I said podcast. I meant podcast. This is the only podcast you will need. Unless and the you're only a frog, pre- then maybe you need a podcast. There, there you go. If you are a true bikeaholic, then this <laughs> wow. is the only prescribed therapy that you need. And we all need therapy, after all. This podcast is for the motorcycling majority. That's right. Mm -hmm. The 99% in stereo, folks. That's how we roll. This podcast covers everything for the law-abiding biker, so look no further. If you think you can handle it, mount up and come along with us for another wild-ass ride. All right, folks, welcome back. This is Ryan Erlacher, your host of the Law Abiding Biker Podcast, and your low tech redneck, and your medium tech redneck, and your high tech redneck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. That Three like, times. That was like term. small, medium, or large. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, back in the studio here. Um, really appreciate it. Got. L D over here to my left. What's up? What's up? In the house. And of course, the one, the only Popeye. What's up, Popeye? Yo, 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 yo. And uh, Popeye rides down here, and we really appreciate it. He rode down again today um, to spit another episode of the Lab Podcast. Um, how long a ride is it for you, bro? I, we ride up there all the time. I'm trying to think. Hour, it's a two what, hour ride. Yeah, it's two a two hours. hour. Yep. That's right. I'm so I always like a good ride. It is. It is. And uh, we ride up there all the time. And uh, yeah. Okay. We're just going to start off with that because you're over there snickering about a good ride. So let's not start. The, anything by it. Let's not start the episode out that way. Uh, but no, we do very much appreciate it. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot in store for you guys on this episode. Of course. Um, what do you guys want to start with? Oh, you know what? Um, I want to throw out there because I've been throwing it out in the podcast. Here we go. Which one of you? Um, no. Ooh, Jeopardy. Let's do it. What do you got? What do you got? Okay. I have the buzzer. Jeopardy. Here we go. I'll take anal bum covers for <laughs> 200, please. <laughs> what is? That's an album cover. Okay. Haven't what you is? Seen, uh, haven't you seen that with Will Ferrell? Uh, I don't remember. To watch him Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I don't know. What is the official hotline for the Law Abiding Biker Podcast? It starts with 509. No, give me half a second. Give you half a second? Who's going to get it? Who's going to hit their buzzer it's first? Beep. It's 509-731-3548. Thank you very much, Boom. LD. He is the podcast pro. Is there such a thing, PP Podcast Pro? The pee-pee. Yep, that's me pretty much. Yeah, cool. Anyways, again, our hotline is 509-731-3548. And you can leave a voicemail right there and from your phone, and we will uh, play your voicemail um, on the podcast if it makes it. And uh, most of them do. Um, 
So yeah, give us your ideas, your thoughts. And you can also go to lawabidingbiker.com slash contact. You can leave an email there or a internet voicemail. And we've received a lot of those on the voicemail and we appreciate that very much. Or speakpipe.com slash lawabidingbiker. And you can also leave an internet voicemail there. Many ways to contact us. Our Facebook page is blowing up and we appreciate it very much. Keep the likes coming. It's a great way to stay in touch with us. Of course, Twitter at Law Abiding Biker is our Twitter handle. And uh, yeah, we're on YouTube. Um, Scrappy587 is my YouTube channel. So what's new, guys? You know what? Speak, uh, speak at me. You know speak what we need to do? We need to uh, throw out a little, little punch for Mr. Mike Baker up there up north for putting out that video. And guys, go and check out. Uh, I'm talking about like Sworn Few, some of the YouTube stuff. That video yes. that he made, he did a good job on that. He did. Very shortly, if you guys go to, I just have not had, I have been so busy lately. Um, but they did, they made it. If you guys go to sworn slash big river, that is our big river perspective crew getting close to full chapter status. Not even close. Depending on how, <laughs> depending on how Popeye acts tonight, it will depend. But um, no, they are doing a good job and uh, getting getting close um, to possibly becoming a full chapter. And uh, they made a video. That's one of the things that we have them do. That was an assignment. And they made a really awesome video. So if you go to, like I say, Swarm Few MC, which is the club we are with, Law Enforcement Club slash Big River, there's pictures, there's some information, and hopefully within the next week, well, by the time this podcast come out, actually, by the time this is released, that video will be on there if you want to check it out. So You'll have your crap together by then. Yeah. Yep. Um, maybe. Maybe. I doubt it. I doubt it. I try to sleep two hours a night. Um, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I see stuff you pump out. I'm like, what's he doing up at 3 o'clock in the morning? I know, dude. I got to with all this uh, law-abiding biker stuff and the club stuff, and I got to maintain both sites. And So, yeah, that is why they call me. A lot of me. ins, a lot of outs. That is correct. Um, hey, you want to pump out, check out some emails here, LD? What you want? We got some cool emails on this sure. episode, and we really appreciate the feedback, guys. That is, uh, like I say, we're pretty good about, and I respond to all these, but then I like to also put them on uh, on the podcast for you guys, but I also respond personally. So what do we got? We ready? We are ready. Our first one is from Mitch Roland. Well, oh. let's put this real quick. And I, well, you said you were ready. Well, I am ready, Jeez. but here's the problem. You don't, you skip over stuff hmm. and this is not just a direct email I want to talk. This is via the lab website comments. So you can go to each episode. Look at him over there. He's getting all Exag- twitched. You're exaggerating that a little bit. Yeah, he is. He's he's over there. Sorry. Like a, yeah, he just uh-huh. he gets all twitchy over there. You yeah. see him when you know, he, when he, he does, does he it. Just like to, on meth. He, he, is, yeah. he's, he is on meth. Yeah. Um, so via the wow. lab website comments, and you can comment directly on the lab website on any blog we do or any episode. I do show notes, lawabidingbiker.com slash and the episode number. There's show notes, and then you can comment and get involved. And that's exactly what Mr. Mitch Roland did. Boom. There you go. That's how you do it, LD. Now you can roll with the Mitch, email. I apologize <laughs> that they interrupted your uh, <laughs> comments that you made. I kind of feel like if you were calling in or something, they would have butted in. But let's proceed. <laughs> so that's where this comes from. If, if it was oh, one not, more thing. If it was no, not ahead, mentioned, sorry. this <laughs> is via the lab website comments. Yeah. Okay, Mitch Roland doesn't say where he's from. He said, I just found your site. What I have seen has been great. I have a 2014 Street Glide special on order. I'll be getting in touch for a bit of advice. Ooh. I'm sure any thoughts on the hidden antenna and rear crash bars for this bike. I am not very computer savvy. So Me neither. Do I get updates? You don't say. Do I get updates from Harley, or do I need to go to you? Thanks, Mitch. Where does this guy think that you're the the yeah. voice on this? Yeah. It's not me. It's Law Abiding Biker Media, yeah, whatever. which is all of us. He's not asking just me. He's asking all of us. So now we're updating people's infotainment system? <laughs> I'm just curious. I need well, to know what my expectations are. 
Well, yes, we uh, we give lots we give of good info. You know, we we help them along, LD. Well, I think what well, he's we talking only, about. We only have like fifteen free videos that have like over a hundred thousand hits on them. Yes, we that's what we do here at. Long well, Island what I think Biker. he's talking about is if, if you didn't a, know what your position was here, yeah. we help people here. Master here. podcaster, LD, LD, you're, LD am, you're out of your element. I am master you're podcaster. Out of your element. Pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah. I think element. what he's talking about is if he needs to update the software on his infotainment system. Mm. That's that's what I got out of that. Okay. So, so anyway. Mm. Yeah, well, that's he, not something we're going to handle. It is. What do you, what video do I have at LD? Yeah, how to operate it, not how to update it. Yeah, actually, in that video, if you would ever watch it, boom. Um, it's schooling you right now. It, it have ha- you watched it there, yes, Popeye? I made it. Oh, yeah, a couple times. Yeah, a couple times. <laughs> You've um, never given me access to it there, P. Uh, I will, actually. You're right. I have, and I'll send you a link to it. Boom. But uh, yeah, go ahead and peek. The uh, yeah, mixer no and just crack the speaker. Yeah. Hey, sometimes it's worth it, and right there it was. People listening on their iPhones right now are like, "Can you not yell in the mic?" Should I break his jaw? They're yeah. gonna be fine. They're all gonna be fine. So, okay, so your response to Mitch? He just so so basically he found the site. Um, I already and, read that part. I know, but you're a little bit confused on it, and uh, that's what I'm here for to to keep you from getting confused. Um, uh, so yeah, my boombox video is it does in that video lawbitingbiker.com forward slash boombox is how you can get that and it does go in there and it tells you exactly how to update your firmware uh, for the boombox system from Harley Davidson and also update your maps from Navi Extras it very specifically tells you how to do that so um, what was that look Navi Navi Extras that's what it's called that's a company don't in, question uh, the high tech redneck I that is correct that's, that's just let him handle yes. this part and I will have that in the show notes for you guys um, and also on that video it tells you exactly how to do that um, you were the one that interrupted I didn't interrupt yes you just so, did no I, now I that you a funny look you interrupted now that you guys know what we actually now that LD knows what his position is here at law abiding biker media uh, because he is an employee and <laughs> now he realizes what his position is. And yes, we do help people LD and, uh, we do make videos for people. He can um, barely help himself. Yeah, he, You're right. But we love him and, uh, you know, we'll throw him a couple uh, coins here and there. For Mitch, I want to say thank you. If it wasn't for you, my job would have never been defined. <laughs> <laughs> so here's go ahead. I respond to him and you don't have to read the, uh, you want your the whole right? URL, but yeah. Okay. Thanks much for the contact. You might get updates from Harley if you're subscribed to their newsletter. I'm sure you can do it on their website. Come here for all your law-abiding biker media and other needs. What I was talking about there real quick is uh, to put it in context. Don't worry about it. You get all flustered over there. He, look at him. He's like a little kid in the studio, dude. He gets all flustered when he can't just... He wants to read through it at let's 100... Go, let's, go, let's go. Yeah, boom, we're gone. Woo, woo, right. hammer down. Go. Okay, let's move on. We have no yeah. more content. Uh, I, I read through... Are, are that's when it's the done. best, because right, that's, that's, yep. that's when Popeye yep. and I get to just screw around yep. for play, half hour. Play and, the closing music now. Go ahead and play the closing music. Yeah, exa- yeah exactly. Yeah. I mean, seriously, dude. You, you got to... Yeah. He's over there drinking Diet Coke on top of it. Look at him. Yeah. That's like meth to him because he's already, oh, oh, yeah. his level's already a nine. <laughs> Most people are a five between a yeah. one through 10. He's at a nine all the time. Oh, yeah. And then, and then he drinks him up to about uh, a 12. So anyways, back on track. Um, what he was asking earlier a little bit is uh, he was talking about um, the, uh, let's see, I just found your site. I've seen it great. 2014 Street Guide order. Um, he also talks about the hidden antenna, which is cool. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and the rear crash bars for his bike. Um, so, uh, yeah, he, what he was talking about updates, um, is not necessarily the boom box update. He's talking about updates from the Harley. Um, or do I need to go to you basically? And, and what this is in reference to, um, is the clutch recall video I did. And if you go to lawabidingbiker.com slash two zero one four Harley Davidson clutch recall, um, that's where he made this comment on the website to put it in perspective. So what he's asking is when there's recalls, should I come to your site? Or should I come, you know, are you the, the, the all be on recalls and it, it, cause he's getting good information is what he's saying. And he wants to know, should he come back here for, for that information? And I would say I will put out as much as I can, but definitely, um, subscribe to a Harley newsletter because I don't know every recall that they do. I am not the go-to for all recalls. I put out the ones that affect bikes that, that, uh, that I hear about. But definitely uh, sign up with Harley Davidson when you buy a bike, and they will email you. So go ahead, LD. 
That's how you put things in context for the listening audience. Boom. <laughs> that was horrible. Okay. So you said, go here for a hidden Harley Davidson antenna, and you have a URL, which I'm sure will be in the show notes. Atta boy, look at him. Boom. Boom. Man, dude, hang on a second, Man. LD. You really are coming getting, around here. He is really starting to you're come around. You're really starting around. to become a podcaster. I'm seeing if I can get a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then next, uh, as for the rear crash bars, and you sent him another URL link. It's a direct link to Harley Davidson. Um, direct link, yep. yes. For the crash for the bars. Man. Be in the show notes. And what do they call those on the rear bags? They're not called, are they called crash bars? You know what I'm talking about, the protective bars for the yeah, bags? Yeah, they're called the uh, saddlebag bars or there something There you like go. That. I'm going to get some for mine too. Isn't that what they're called, saddlebag bars? I don't know. I'm asking you. Don't know. I asked you first. They they basically are crash bars for the bags. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, I said never mind. I asked you first. You I been, don't know. You haven't been to that training yet, LD. You're, you can't use it. <laughs> okay. And then it says, hope this helps you. Don't uh, forget to check out our podcast, free videos, and four purchase videos. Ride safe, brother. All right. Awesome. Safety first. Wear your helmet. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. What was that? What is going on here? I dropped my phone, but it's okay. It's okay. an iPhone. Um, so, yeah. Um, thank you so much, Mitch Roland. Um, we appreciate it. And that was directly comments on the website, which is awesome. I go through those comments. I respond to them all. And you can respond on any blog about anything or about the podcast. So, what's up, Papa? You want to do you have any? Uh, you got your Android on or what? Yeah, it's on. All right. You what got you want to do the next one? Mm, just a second, huh? I'll set it up for you All while right, you're looking. S- set it up. Or unless you want to try it, because you'll what probably do. Look, which one are we looking at here? Uh, the next one via Lab Web. Why don't you set it up properly, unlike LD did, so people know where it's I coming got from? Because text me and all kinds of they're real important people here. I'm because trying to, trying to throw them all out of the way here. Because I send you guys the the notes and they're pretty specific, but LD likes to start about halfway down. He does. Um, let's see. Here. I can't work in these conditions. Yeah, this is uh. Is this via the, uh, that's via the lab website mm-hmm. comments? The, all right, with uh, Mr. Javier See, Martinez. Dang it, you guys. This is just, okay, L- let me podcast 101. Okay. Via the lab website comments. What does it say after that? I thought I said that. I apologize. www.lawbitingbiker.com forward slash videos. Yes. And so what that means is... Videos, that, in case that was too crunchy. Yes. On the website, he was uh, making a comment on lawbitingbiker.com forward slash videos. That's where he made this comment. And that is where all our free videos are. Um, so go ahead. This is the comment he leaves on our free video page on our website. So Javier Martinez says, all your procedures are very helpful, but note for the soft tail owners, the drain plugs are in different locations. The transmission drain plug is between the two shocks under the center of the bike. The oil drain plug is where the transmission drain plug is shown on this video, and the primary fluid drain plug is pretty much in the same area as the bike for this video. Uh, this is for 2013 soft tails and some years before. Double check. You don't want to pull the wrong plug. Absolutely correct. I think and they've been putting it there for quite a while because I think that's where mine are. On my yeah, and it, it depends because what he's talking about is uh, specifically is our maintenance, our free maintenance video. Um, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash maintenance and we do it on um actually ld's bike 2012 right ld correct 2012 um street glide uh cvo and the plugs are in a little bit different place and that's what he's noting and that is exactly what the law abiding biker community is about and that's why i like the comments on the website because people and the community can help each other um, basically telling you know where things are and things and so that's what he's doing here um, Javier Martinez is saying hey watch your video awesome you know video uh, only a few exceptions and that's because he has a soft tail and they do put those plugs in a little bit different place uh, so thank you Javier Martinez and then if you want to read my response you can would you like me to? I would love you to. Well, you know, I got distracted here. I was well, getting, that's well. You know, we got all kinds of things going on yep, here. Yep. Your response says, "Thanks for the contact, Javier, and thanks for the sharing." Uh, or, or pardon me, talking thanks to Mike. For, thanks. You can put the, put the phone in front and then talk straight straight in. Working on it. Attaboy. Working on it. Got a lot of things going on here. <laughs> Jeez, you guys. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the contact, uh, Javier, and thanks for sharing your particular model and where things are located. 
I know the rest of the law-abiding uh, biker community appreciates it. Of course, the different years and models will have variations. So if everyone shares it, <laughs> just shut off. Uh, so if everyone it would be shares awesome. it, would be awesome. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So thank you, Javier Martinez. And if anybody else gets on there, share where all that stuff is because we are saving a ton of money here at lawabidingbiker.com. We hope we're saving you a ton of money. by Bikers being, helping bikers. That's right. And uh, doing the maintenance yourself instead of uh, throwing away uh, to hardy dealerships. Uh, of course, we need to, them to do some things, but most of the things and the regular maintenance we can do ourselves. So via the lab website comments, I'll set it up. Again, this is on the website, um, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash 2014 Harley maintenance, and that's the for sale video. Um, and Bob says, on a 2000 Harley 1200, how much oil do you put in rear shocks and what type? Okay, and this is awesome because Bob is from, I got to say this, can you guys say that city? No. Corberg, Canada? It's C O B O U. Yeah, Coburg. Coburg. C O B O U R G. That's my guess. L D. Yeah. Sure. He's never been there. He didn't even clue. He's I'm, I'm going to look it up right now, though. I'm yeah. going to see where it's at. Okay, cool. Um, but Perfect. yeah, that's awesome. But we don't have a province, so we'll see how it goes. We've got Uh-oh. people from. What was our last one? Do you even know what a province is, Popeye? Uh, I've been to more than you have. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, on notice. Uh, on notice. Um, so yeah, we, and we, we have the. You know, people have listened from Ireland and I forget what the last one was, but Australia, uh, Australia. Oh, is Australia. Yep. And I've got lots of people commenting from Australia and stuff like that. Wait, so when, when Ireland, Ireland, we had one from Ireland. Yep. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, you meant, you meant Coburg, Ontario. By Australia, you meant Ireland. No, no, no. We've had them from both. Okay. No, I said Ireland. You weren't listening. I apologize. I was yeah. probably looking at You were. You when have you no listen, idea what you're doing. When you no. listen back to this podcast, you'll realize that I said Ireland. <laughs> I said also Australia. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay. So my response, thanks so much for the contact, Bob. I would definitely have to call the Harley dealer on that one. Um, just call any, and this is for you guys too. Uh, if you did not know, um, you can always call any Harley Davidson dealer. And like I've told you in past podcasts, we know ours very well. Um, and I've helped them out with some stuff before they help us out. Um, but call your local dealer and ask them for free. They will tell you right over the phone what the capacity levels are for your exact model. They can pump it right into their computer. It's a lot faster than trying to Google it because you don't always find it on Google. Um, God bless and ride safe. So thank you so much, Bob from Corberg, Canada. Coburg, Ontario, right on. Oh, there you go. Hang on, stand by, stand useful by. for something. He's the ride right, planner. He's right on Lake Ontario. He, he's yeah. the GPS yeah. ride planner. Yeah. Boom. Okay, very yeah. cool. Um, so, yeah, thank you for guys for those uh, comments on the website and for keeping the conversations going. We appreciate it very much. Moving forward. All right. So, uh, you know, we've got some other stuff, and uh, I'm going to skip past that, and we may do it in between. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, Speaking of, I'm going to cover real quick, talking about that Boombox infotainment system, which is the brand new integrated uh, techno center, for lack of better words, um, built right in to the new 2014 models. I was wondering if we had techno music. I like it. I was just about to say you that. Like it? You bring it up. Attaboy. Oh. We think alike. See? Woo. We're podcast minds, dude. Yeah. One. Well, now if you get a pole in here and somebody dance to it, <laughs> then we'd be thinking alike. <laughs> um <laughs> But I actually did, believe it or not, um, I got called by our local Harley-Davidson dealership. And uh, this is kind of funny. I think I told you guys this. And this is not saying anything. I am very, very humble. I was actually humbled that they called me and asked. Um, But I was down there, and before I even popped my bike, I was down there messing around with the new boombox system. And those guys down there know me really well because I'm in there all the time. And you guys are in there too. They know you guys. Um, they know us by name and I know the service manager and all that. But they called me and uh, our, our local dealership and said, hey, um, we've got some issues because people are asking us, customers, they're bringing it into the shop, asking us how to use the boom box system. And uh, we don't know how. <laughs> and so they, dude, the mechanics and no offense, you know, love those guys. Um, they're the mechanics down there and they dude, they can do stuff. I could never dream of doing. I don't have the education to do, you know, as far as rebuild motors and stuff. And, uh, but they called me because they know 
the high tech redneck and uh, word got around down there and they got around about my video. And so they called me down there and uh, I spent some time just for free. Of course I did not, would not charge. So for basically that. you got around. I did. I got around down there. Hmm. Um, That's yeah. Weird. Yeah. yeah, it, away. You know, it can I'm happen. I'm charging for services. Yeah, you know, I'm that kind of guy. I give stuff for free. You well, know, here. and then it out. Maybe I should give you a couple cocktails here yeah. and see I'm where a, things go. I'm a giving kind of guy. <laughs> That's how I roll. Um, but yeah, so I spent some time with the guys down there and they have to take a test on it and the, they have to watch all these videos and try to learn how to use it. And the videos are really confusing. So I just got one on one with the mechanics down there and walked them through a bunch of stuff. And, uh, so hopefully they passed their test. Is uh, it because they said do you they call said, it infotainment one oh one or what? Yeah, I call it lawabidingbiker.com forward slash boom box. <laughs> That's what I call it. Um and they and they know about that video and they actually when they sell bikes, uh Don down there gives the link to customers. Um but the mechanics and they help me out a lot too, and they're always answering questions for me and stuff. So I have no problem returning the favor and uh so yeah, hopefully they they said it was a lot easier me showing them than trying to watch the stock Harley videos that they send all the mechanics and then they got to take a test on this stuff and the, you know this is a brand new system before that it was just stereos right like yeah, on yours right yeah, you know yeah, this yeah. is a whole new deal dude it's a computer and uh, you can't expect those guys just to know that stuff they they haven't dealt with that kind of technology before um, some the, of them I don't think I've ever even seen a computer. Uh, that's yeah. highly likely. That's probably, yeah, I can rebuild a motor. You can <laughs> right. do all that stuff. But yeah, com- computer. One that's of our computer. favorite mechanics down there, um, we won't say by name, um, old school guy, um, he finally feels right uptown because last year he got a uh, smartphone. And he's just <laughs> learning how to text. And his text consists of like two two lines, dude. That's all he can do. <laughs> it's like, thank you or something like that, dude. Because so he, yeah. he called me and texted me about this. So it was funny. But yeah, has so to let, do with choo, where choo choo go. Yeah, where yeah, exactly. Um, Mungo. What is our main topic today, guys? What are we gonna do? Yeah, what are we gonna do? Some, uh, talk about some bikers and tats. We're, we're gonna talk about uh, law abiding bikers. Law abiding bikers. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're gonna talk about some law abiding bikers. We're, we're gonna talk about stuff that pertains to ninety nine percenters. Yeah. That is right, and that's what we do here. That's what we do. Good job, Fair LD. Boom. I'm on it. Yeah, very good. What's our main topic, gentlemen? Why don't you? Since you're down here, Popeye, why don't you roll? Because you brought up the topic. Where did you get the topic? Somebody wanted you to talk about it on our podcast. Old Man River. Jeez. Oh, geez. <laughs> well, he was talking about, uh, you know, what is the deal with guys who get a bike? Or maybe they've had a bike, you know, but what is it with bikers and going out and getting get tattoos? Is it bikers? Just bikers get tattoos? I mean, that's weird. Well, it just seems like, you know, maybe a lot of them. Are tattooed, maybe a higher percentage of bikers than the regular majority of people that do have tattoos. So, what is the correlation, or is there a correlation, or is there no correlation with bikers and having tattoos, or a personality thing, or, or you know, what, what's what's going on with that? Okay, there we go. That's going to be our main topic, and uh, we kind of knew that coming into it. And somebody else, you know, uh, did actually bring it up. And I want to say, I'm not quite sure, but I think it was Matt that brought it up. Yeah, I can't remember. We, the email came up a while ago. Yeah. I think I was in the studio when it got, yeah. when it got brought up. And so the, it has been brought to our attention, and it is a subject that uh, that, that somebody and, and some law-abiding bikers and part of the community wanted us to discuss. So we're going to devote this episode and the next little while to law-abiding bikers Get and inked. tattoos. Getting inked. That's right. And uh, so, yeah, what do you think? Tattoos, dude. You got a tramp stamp? Boom, I do. I got a big old tramp stamp. What do you got on there, handlebars? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, hang on. Hang on for the ride. Does it look like your Wolverine beard, dude? You love it, don't you? It's Yeah, it goes along with a month. Man. Right now, Popeye is sporting a... Uh, beard that is straight out of the movie uh, it's X-Men. like Starsky and Hutch. He looked like Wolverine, dude. Yeah, it's kind of scary. You. No you shave, a, November. You got a question, Wolverine? You can't. Yeah. Are you on vacation or what? No. The uh, in you fact, can, uh, how can you have that at work? The dude? lead agents. Well, how should I say this? The lead person in my agency uh, allowed it for this month. Oh, really? Yeah. So, don't you know about Movember? 
Uh, I do now. Yeah. All of us here at lawabidingbiker.com, most of us, well, all of us right now are law enforcement officers full time. We do this on the side. And most departments don't allow anything but a mustache and it must be shaved to the corner of your mouth. Yeah. And Popeye's sporting a Wolverine all the way down around his chin. It's pretty much awesome. What do you think about that, LD? You what do you think about his Wolverine? Much, I want to see your, when's your porn stash coming back there? Uh, Pete? I'm afraid to do it now, dude. Yeah, when you have a stash like this, I mean, you got to beat the girls with this. I want mustache rides. It's a, I mean, <laughs> jeez, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it can't take you anywhere. <laughs> yep. Straight, yeah. yeah. Who wants a mustache ride? <laughs> I do. I do. Oh, God. Um, oh that was from Super Troopers, dude. Yeah, that was super awesome. Troopers, which Speak, are coming out with the Super Troopers, too. Speaking of that, Chewie's uh, texting away over here, telling us to hurry up. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's get into our, our main topic, which is tattoos here, and let's spit at this a little bit. So, Popeye, what is it? Uh, give me your opinion on the. Just give kind of what you think about if we're going to say bikers get tattoos more than the general public um what say you about uh why and give your opinions on such do you have any tattoos first of all i do i've got well i've got not the a, tramp stamp just yeah seriously yeah. dude besides the tramp stamp besides that one uh yeah i do i have a forearm tat on one and then i've got uh, a half sleeve comes down from my shoulder just below my collar and then comes all the way down my elbow on the other arm which someday may be sleeved out but uh, basically what I think about tattoos is that I don't know if there is a correlation between bikers and tattoos. I think that tattoos have basically become more and more mainstream in the last five, six, seven, eight years, something like that, where they just can become more accepted. Um, what I would say is, is that I think maybe you see more guys in the biker world getting tattoos that pertain to biking or especially Harley guys. I think if anything, you see Harley guys getting Harley tattoos, whether it's the logo or something to do with riding Harleys or an old bike that they have. Um, but yeah, I think if, if, if you're a biker, you're probably more likely to get a tattoo. If, well, I don't know if it's that if you, if you're a Harley guy, you're going to get a tattoo that pertains to a Harley, um, more than anything else. Why? Why? Oh, I guess the love of the motorcycle because they love America. Yeah, you a Harley guy? I'm a Harley guy. Do you have a Harley tattoo? I don't. Oh, that shoots out. Do you have any all. tattoos so, at all? You're like a blank canvas over there. Yes. I am. Aren't you Virgin telling me? You've been canvas. telling me for months. You've been telling me for months. I don't. You're gonna go. Yet you. Yet, yet be, you're you're big devil a wimp. You're a wimp. Tattoos are the devil. Yeah, you were gonna go in months ago. I got a tattoo guy. Gonna go in months ago. I'm ready. Whenever. Yeah, I just well, gotta get it set up. I'm ready. I'm ready. But you've not been in yet. You've been telling me that since You set me summer. up with a tattoo guy that's two hours away, hey, LDF, and I actually and have to schedule this back, shit. back up from the mic. You can tell Quiet when he gets down. mad because he backs up the mic. You see that yeah. thing peeking? Yeah, I have not made it up there because I actually have to schedule that. And unlike... Dude, we're, no, we're, hang we're, on, hang on. No, you've been no, there. No, shut Here your mouth. You no. You could have went... Yeah, well, and I had to be home right no, after that. No. And it, no. I work five days a week. No. I don't have some sweet, Erroneous. sweet schedule Erroneous. like you. So, no, I have not made it How up How many there. days of this week did you work? Uh, five. Depends what you consider him yeah. work. Yeah. Not at my regular job, but I was at yeah. my side job working yeah. five days this yeah. week. I was out of town. Pretty sure you could have made time. He was here at Lab Media. Maybe if you weren't such a freaking yeah. wimp, <laughs> you could have uh, got up there, got a little something, something. I'm not in a huge hurry. So yeah. you got, uh, Popeye, you've got a uh, tattoo visible below your uh, left elbow. I do. And, you know, funny, I haven't talked to you about this, um, but what is, can you uh, wear a short sleeve at your department, at your law enforcement, unspecified law enforcement agency, and show that tattoo? So far, until I screw up that. <laughs> what's, what's to talk about that? Yeah, until they decide to make a policy because uh, somebody sleeves out. But no, it... Um, well, let me tell you how that works. I'll get yeah. to that in a second because I did that. <laughs> and I'll tell you how that works. I did that. Yeah. I did. Yeah, no, I don't... Uh, we don't have a policy so far. And basically, any. Um, it's pretty broad. Um, the policy that we use falls under... Oh, it's kind of a it's kind of a national thing of um, basically it, it states that yeah tattoos are becoming more and more 
mainstream more and more people are getting that tattoos i mean in the old days yeah it used to be thank god used to be you know, get over are you guys lexapol yeah huh you guys lexapol yes yeah, yeah so, it's a so are we thing. yeah, yeah we Lexipol, could... yeah lexapol looks at it as yeah it's a uh you know yeah mainstream thing and whatnot so yeah uh as long as it's not offensive as long as it's not something that is gonna upset somebody you know racist or bigotry or you know blood guts and gore or whatever then basically yeah it's okay and thank goodness is that our administration has adopted that so far so so is mine my policy is the same yeah you don't have any tattoos don't worry about (laughs) that's true (laughs) true that dude oh that was awesome i'm sorry that was awesome (laughs) and now i won't get any (laughs) that was just like bam oh popeye's got the one-liners okay um anyways yeah so um LD's got no tattoos, but he's planning on getting them. Are you going to get any below the sleeves, brother? No, actually, I probably won't. Really? How come? I don't know. I just... You can't just say I don't know. Everybody has a reason for everything. Yeah. You have a reason. You, you don't know, want to get it below the sleeves. Sometimes you go deal with grandma. She doesn't want to see that stuff. Really? Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> I'm serious. Depends it's on a, what grandma you're talking about. It's a good I conversation. Yeah. I, I but don't like, know. But like Lisa said... My grandma doesn't mind. In the last seven or eight years, it's become acceptable. People that are from a generation prior to that, you know, okay, some if, people... If, don't. Okay, if you're but, talking about simply about at work... What do you care what grandma thinks? With grandma, the thing is, is that I think um, when you show up in uniform... Is now is we're that getting somewhere. They don't necessarily see the tattoos as a bad thing when you're in uniform. Now, if you, what I noticed when I first got a half sleeve and then got the other one is that you get a lot more street credit when you're working. It's harder for me to get help at the hardware store. But the thing is, is that if, uh, <laughs> true, but uh, yeah, it, it, I, I've never had an issue going to deal with grandma and you've got tats showing or whatever, because like I said to them, I think you show up, it's the older generation respects law enforcement. They, uh, they, they, they have a different view than kids. I mean, I always say like kids under 25 or I mean, care less. Yeah. Oh right. man. No respect for law enforcement. But yeah, if you're under that, uh, or excuse me, if you're, if you're an old, that older generation, you automatically respect law enforcement. They see the uniform. They don't necessarily see the tattoo. Uh, and I don't think they, I don't think they care. I, I don't really care if you have sleeves or whatever. I mean, and, and I'm not opposed to it, to be honest with you. I just, I've got an idea for a couple of different tattoos. None of them are on my arms. So, so did you have any point in what you just made a comment about? No, I said that it could affect grandma, but then you just, but okay. Okay. yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. No, it's and good. If I, if a lot I, of people think if that there was way. A, if tomorrow I saw something that I thought, oh, I just have to have that and a good place for it's below my sleeve, I'd get it. You know what happened to me was, is that, uh, before I ever got a tattoo is, is that I used to look at tattoos differently than I did after I got a tattoo. You know, it's kind of like sex, you know, it's this big buildup of, Oh my God. Oh my God. Then when you do it, it's like, well, that's pretty cool. Let's do it again. Let's get another one. So it's, you know, it's just this huge buildup of something. That's just this great thing. And then, um, yeah, one, like tattoos, you know, once you get one and then you look at other people that have them, you're just like, ah, whatever. And you, and you know, you don't, you don't think nearly as much about it. The only people that care about tattoos are people that don't have tattoos. You notice that? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? That was a um, saying I saw. Because us with tattoos, and if you guys don't know me, um, uh, I have obviously some pictures out there on lawabidingbiker.com, but I am I got full sleeves. Um, and I work as a full-time law enforcement officer. Um, but I will say that is the only, I found that the only people that care, I don't care about people that don't have tattoos, but people that don't have tattoos seem to care about, they're the ones that care whether, you know, people have tattoos and where they have them and so forth. Um, we could get off on a law enforcement side tangent. I don't want to do that because this is for all law abiding bikers. So I see the other day I go through, um, which offends me a little bit. Uh, I go through Starbucks and, uh, the, and, and Starbucks apparently has, from what I've learned, very ridiculous policies on tattoos. And there's a gal serving me coffee, and she's got to wear gloves. Yeah, they have to have them covered. And up. I asked her, yep. and I said, "Why?" I said, "Why are you wearing gloves?" And she was pretty humble about it. I said, "No, seriously, tell me the truth." Because she saw that I was sleeved out, you know, yep. and so she felt like she could talk to me real quick. And I said, "Are you wearing?" Because she didn't want to say. Because I think I, I assume, think Starbucks you tells them not. Huh? No, uniform? I was not. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, I, I 
assume that she was wearing them because no, none of the other employees were. And I looked at her and I said, because apparently Starbucks probably tells them if somebody asks, you don't tell them, you know? And I said, you have tattoos on your hands, don't you? She goes, she just looked up and she goes, yes. And I told her, I said, that's absolutely asinine. Yeah. I'm sorry. That is in this day and age yeah. with this respect. I don't care. You're supposed yes. to be to everybody nowadays. You're, you know, everybody's supposed to appreciate everybody and accept everybody for who they are. And all of a sudden you get a tattoo and all of a sudden you're, you know, you're the outcast. I'm not going to stop going leprosy. to see you, you guys are, guys are outcasts. Yeah. yeah. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> pretty boy. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, but, but my deal, my deal was, you know, I am not going to stop getting coffee because she has tattoos on her hands and Starbucks ought to be right. ashamed. Absolutely. Especially ashamed based out of, of Seattle. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. It ought to be any business like that ought to be absolutely ashamed in this day and age. And I know there's some old school people, you know, we have all different audience listen to the podcast. Right. Everybody has those opinions. I respect your opinion, but, um, What's the difference between earrings, earrings, and you know, jewelry, yeah. or you know, body art, or whatever? You know, I guess I can understand. I don't have uh, tattoos on my eyelids, yeah. and you know, I mean, I, I guess face tattoo. Yeah, I mean, you know, but there again, uh, so face tattoo. What's the difference between a face tattoo and arms? You know, so we could get into that whole yeah, concept. Well, you know, yeah. it, it's you so start to, you start going down that road, just makes it tough to get a you know a good job. Right, yeah, you know, neck, it, neck and it is neck because and face. it's judged. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. There is a, there's a perception there, and it's I'm not like for my, it. It's just like my tattoo buddy that, uh, um, like I talked to him when first time I went into his shop, and I went in uniform and I asked my buddy. My buddy's going to get a tattoo, and I was in uniform. And I'm like, does he know? Does he does he know you're a cop? No. You know, I'm like, well, man, where's this going? Because there is with everything that you do, you get a, you know, you go to a tattoo shop, and there's that perception of who, what, you know, there, what's this sketchy tattoo guy about? Dude's the nicest guy in the world. Yep. Rides bikes. He's a firefighter. You know, volunteer firefighter. Uh, you know, fishing guide for years. Does he listen to the podcast? You better put him on it, huh? Law-abiding biker, he is. Um, yeah. So here's you know here's what what I say to that argument. You know, and you can say, well, okay, I'm sleeved out, and uh, you know, well, what about the guy that's got it on his face or on his neck? Um, here's my deal. I don't. I guess I always wanted, I don't mind having tattoos um, and I don't mind having full sleeves, but my personal preference was that I always wanted to, under certain circumstances, I don't care about for the job, you know, Um, because I can fully display mine. I'm grandfathered in. Um, They tried to do a reverse uh, yeah, 180. Uh, they try to do that, and uh, that's what unions are for. Um, but uh, I'm grandfathered. Play, play the button hook music, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They, oh, oh, dude, they totally tried nah, to do that. You button hook me. I didn't uh, know you were gonna button hook. Oh, me. they tried to. They tried to button hook me hard. Um, but you know, whatever. Um, but luckily, that uh, doesn't happen. And so where same you're with going that before you got sidetracked was is that what you want to do is be right. able to cover cover exactly yeah, you want to be able to cover. I, I did. You, know, that. you go to church or you're going, yes. you know, to wedding, wedding. Or yeah, exactly. That's my personal you know, preference. Right. That's kind of the same way I'm at. You know, because yeah. like you said, I love some showing people them. don't like it. So you guys you aren't wanna, proud. You know, you aren't proud of your tattoos. Very or? proud. Yeah, but you want to be respectful to the crowd. If you know, if if it may not be accept- acceptable. In this day and so. age, you guys ought to be ashamed of yourselves thinking like that. <laughs> like well, they're <laughs> knock you right out off your chair right there. LD over there just throwing them out just zinging them but that's my personal preference but i still don't judge personally someone with them on their neck because i've met some really nice people with tattoos on their neck oh yeah i personally wouldn't have them that's just me no in fact i work out a guy at the Um, gym and he's a friggin the guy just got his uh cpa certified public accountant smart dude got a neck tattoo he wishes he hadn't done it because he realizes it's probably going right. to affect him for his job. But it's taboo, and it shouldn't be taboo, yeah. but it is yeah. in our culture at yeah. this point. Yeah. But remember, you know, twenty years ago, uh, any tattoo me was tat. This is this is taboo. Oh, me just with anything sleep. on yeah. My, anything. my grandma, my grandma's you know early eighties, and yeah, she does not appreciate my tattoos. She just keeps telling me, you know, you better not get all your sleeves or you know your whole arms done. Well, That's the devil's work, yeah, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was not happy. I got my forearm tat, and then it came down to where it was below my sleeves. And yeah, she's like, oh, "Get one on your titty that says Grandma, I love you." <laughs> <laughs> She'll like that. She'll appreciate She'll, it. Yeah, yeah, dude, just uh, that'd be awesome. But 
they shouldn't be taboo anymore. But um, here's my my uh, actually your opinion, LD. Instead of texting over there, just tell. Uh, I'm listening. I'm listening. You say something. Tell the prospect, yeah. Chewy, because I know that's who you're texting. Tell Chewy that he's a prospect and he can freaking wait. He's waiting patiently. He doesn't need to interrupt us during a podcast. Right, he's got very important work going on here. Yeah, we got him. So does he, it sounds like. Well, yeah. his his work is definitely not important as us. He's a prospect. <laughs> All right, so what's up? What My honest opinion on what? Yeah, your honest opinion on w- uh, why bikers get tattoos or why you want tattoos and, and why you think law-abiding bikers. And I think it's fair to say what Popeye says is that, yeah, I'd say majority of bikers... Um, I wouldn't say majority of bikers, but a majority of tattoo people are bikers. I don't know if I'd say that. Okay. Well, why I think, not? I think there's a younger generation that a lot of people have tattoos that have never been on a bike before. I agree with that. But I think that bikers... But what about the percentage of guys who ride bikes that have tattoos? Right. Well, yeah. That's if you're he, doing that. He said right? he thinks a majority of people with tattoos are bikers. And oh, I will I will, I will, correct myself because I, yeah, I, but, I said that wrong. Um, Yeah. That's my bad. Yeah, majority of people that ride bikes have tattoos. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And I think that it, I don't know. Maybe Look at our group. You're the only guy in our group that doesn't have any tattoos. That's true. Very, yep. very true. Um, I don't know if it's like a perception or a persona or what that goes along with the bike. I, I really don't know. I've Good insight. Really thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude. Really put oh, everything like, into this. You're just really throwing yourself. Way to be an employee of I, Law Abiding yeah. Biker Media. <laughs> We we hire nobody but the best here. Uh, you are an intellect. We we hire nobody but the best. We do a full background check. <laughs> deep thought there. <laughs> real, <laughs> real deep thought. I don't know why that uh, uh, those two coincide together. I don't know. Well. I think it's a perception. Yeah. You know, back when tattoos were taboo, a lot of guys that had tattoos at that time were bikers. They still are taboo in, to a lot of people, which is sad. Right. But I think that that. Uh, How long have tattoos been going on, LD? Oh, for, since biblical forever, yeah. times long time ago, forever, yep. gotcha. yeah. So I think that uh, you know the perception is is you, you have a bike, you have some tattoos, you have a couple of them, so it's kind of carried on throughout. Yeah, but I think there's more to it. Um, yeah, so do I. Then uh, have at it. I'm not a tattoo <laughs> that's guy. Pretty I don't, shallow. I'm not a tattoo uh, guy. I don't know why. I don't know why you even asked me. Well, you're going to be a tattoo guy. Yeah. Um, what are you going to get a tattoo of, by the way? I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. A little butterfly or something, maybe? Yeah, or a frog. Maybe a turtle. Frog? Yeah. A horny toad? T- turtle on my ankle, probably. Yeah. I think <laughs> that... Well, I'm not going to tell you what I think you should get. But anyways, um, it's inappropriate. I was trying okay, to not to get yeah. too inappropriate. I was well. thinking about it, and I was like, yeah. no, nope, probably not. That'll be an off-air yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah. Probably, probably. Um, here's what I think um, as far as the bikers and tattoos go. And I haven't read, and I usually research and stuff like that, but I did not research this at all. This is Hire just, nothing but the best. This yeah, the, I hire nothing but the best. Um, <laughs> this, this is my straight from my heart, because as I'm sitting here thinking um, of why bikers get tattoos. Okay, number one, we ride because it's somewhat of a subculture. It's a little more mainstream now than it used to be, but it comes from a subculture, um, the motorcycle. It's about freedom. It's about, even if you're America. Lo- e- America. America is about freedom. Even if you are, um, you know, obviously like us, law abiding bikers. Okay. It started out, you know, a lot of the tattoos when it was taboo, a lot more taboo than it is now. Um, your law, uh, or excuse me, your motorcycle clubs, um, you know, a lot of your bikers had tattoos and stuff as it became more mainstream um, as it is now. Um, what are you guys looking at? You? That was a weird noise. Oh, did I did I make a weird noise? I yeah. apologize. Yeah, um, keep going. Uh, so permission to continue? Yeah, permission <laughs> to continue. Um, a lot of uh, freaked me out there. <laughs> da, 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 you know, and the, the thing is, you guys hear that stuff. I don't think our audience even hears it. But um, so yeah, I think it's about freedom, the open road, and even though you're law abiding, you're being a little bit um rebel. So, uh, I think that has a little bit to do with it as far as, uh, you know, being free and maybe that's another way to stick it to the man. Could be a little bit. Yeah. To the man. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. You know, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not, uh, it's not a mainstream thing. Everybody didn't have. Right. Yeah, exactly. And so, 
Um, with that thought, I'm thinking of another idea. So I guess that's my my main thought is that um, tattoos are a extension of motorcycling and the freedom and being Absolutely. a little bit different than you know the mainstream society even though we're still completely law abiding you know not everybody wants to ride a bike not everybody rides a bike i mean we're riding today look at you right you know today. our club we're riding i rode to work the other day and you know it's 18 degrees on the way to work 18 degrees back so um i think that's another way of yeah like i say sticking it to the man or a little bit outside the regular um, regular society. It's just kind of a way to it's freedom express to me. yourself. It is. Like, uh, Which is what riding a Harley is about, right? Yeah, right. It, the you way know, you dress your Harley, the yeah. way you you know, you know ride your Harley, the, your club, your club colors, mm-hmm. um, whatever you're associated with, those are all, all expressions outside of our routine daily life of what we have to do to make a living right. and to get away from that. And tattoos is an extension of that. That's, yeah. that's straight from my heart. Straight from my heart, gentlemen. Straight from the duder's heart. That is deep. Straight yeah, up. Just, just, I'm know, impressed. It means something, though. You know, I mean, you know, most people's tattoos. It means something. They have a reason that they went and got it. And there's an expression. every single one I have. have. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, there's a reason. You got anything on that LD a little bit deeper than what you said? I'm just happy to be here. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Maybe one of these days, you know, you'll be able to join the club. I'm pretty sure mostly your problem is you're just kind of afraid of the needles and the pain and the hurt. It's kind of uh, scary, really. Even Sarge with his sagging and aging skin. <laughs> Jeez, was oh, in my the- God. <laughs> I can't believe he's going to kill you. <laughs> was in the tattoo chair today. And was getting some work done. He is going to AD in the <laughs> office with you right close. Mm-hmm. He come in, he's going to knock me out one of these days. <laughs> so we might get some comments on this, um, which I would really appreciate on this episode. And I don't know what number it's going to be yet, but when we throw it out there, um, just what your thoughts are on tattoos. And it really is generational. Um, I truly believe that. Um, like LD says, the new generation is a lot more hip with it. Boy, you get some really different opinions from, um, you know, depending on generation. I'm 40, right? Um, you know, and my generation is kind of in between. The younger, it's like no big deal. The older, um, they're very, very opinionated on whether you know you should have tattoos or whether. Oh yeah. And and I'm not talking about police. I'm talking about Starbucks. Right. I'm yes. talking about Just McDonald's. People, anybody. Yeah, I'm talking about you know should these companies be you know having these people? Are you gonna buy? Are you gonna? Buy, are you going to go to McDonald's? Not that I eat at McDonald's a lot, but let's say you go to McDonald's. Do you care if you buy a Big Mac from somebody with a tattoo or not? No, but I understand. I don't think I understand it, the the, yeah. the stigma of it, and that if you know, do am I am I going to go to Edward Jones or you know some freaking investment company and look at a guy who's got a face tattoo and go, hmm, I want to give me give this guy tens of thousands of dollars. What if he has maybe tattoos on his arms though? Well, okay, well. Right, but I'm see you even no, have a taboo there, to a certain there extent. Right, yeah. there is. There's there's a stigma to it, and are you going to go and there is there, there's just a stigma to it, and I understand that stigma, and it's kind of funny coming from an LE background, but I understand. Yeah, you go in there, and are you going to trust this guy with with all your money? I think that the way that businesses are looking at this is, if they have no tattoos, they're probably not going to offend anyone. If they have tattoos, there's a portion of the population they may offend. But see, I'm offended that she had to wear gloves. Well, right, but that's but just, I'm offended. Uh, no, I agree with you. I could care less if they have tattoos. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Majority, you're, you know, you're, I mean, excuse me, you're in the minority. So basically, if the minority, see, I don't think that you anymore know, is, is offended about the. Minority. I think you're in the minority for your age group. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For forty. Yeah. yeah. You might be right. You're right on the cusp. I'm in my mid thirties, and I'm probably right about the age. Yeah. You're where right. You're I'm right. just a young buck. I forget how man. old I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're old. <laughs> Not as old as Sarge, but yes. Old. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I guess I agree with you, LD. Yeah, I am kind of on the cuff there as as far as that goes. Um, maybe not as mainstream for my age group. Yeah. So they're trying to uh, alleviate the. Um, possibility of offending a group of the citizenry but you know and then you look at your generation a little bit but you're younger picking up guys but I mean, you're pissing you know, you're you're, you're, you're right. offending you yeah 
you know you're, yeah you're pissing people off that they have to cover it up or right. yeah you've got a young yeah the young crowd especially comes in and they're going well why well they that's have to cover probably it up? why she wasn't supposed to tell him that she's wearing well the clothes exactly but if, especially like you were saying earlier is that if you're uh with that's a sad Seattle, though that's sad a seattle based company nobody's right. not gonna buy seattle. coffee seattle's always on the cusp of oh yeah. you know we're all uh, liberal uh, yeah liberal right you know and then all of a sudden you know you got a, a, a seattle based company that is basically discriminating against people people are addicted right. to coffee <laughs> They're not going to stop buying coffee because somebody has a tattoo on their hand. Seriously, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, all jokes aside, dude. People who go to Starbucks are going to start go to Starbucks whether somebody has a tattoo on their. They drink that coffee so every what, at what, day. At what point do you draw the line? Because, like I said, I understand McDonald's. I understand Starbucks. Yeah, who cares? I but don't draw. the Are line. you going to walk in and give a guy a hundred thousand dollars who has a tattoo across his face for your investments? I probably will if as long says, as he's certified. And if he has it the says, background. show That's me the me, money. Though. If his tattoo says, show me the money, I'm probably going to do it. If he puts his knuckles out and it says, show me the money, and he's got it written across his knuckles, I'm good with that. No. Yeah, so I, say, I understand that there are certain positions probably that, uh, that differ. Well, all right. So that's a very loaded subject, and uh, we could go on about loaded. that. Now, I open uh, uh, on a more funny note, dude. I open the episode with a, a little bit of an act. Uh, 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 a voice and uh, if you guys have not seen this video on YouTube it is awesome and uh, we'll end the kind of end the the uh, show on this but um, you really got to look it up but I'll, I'll have a, a just just go to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash whatever episode number this is and uh, you'll have a uh, link to it but pretty funny there's a couple of videos. It's Jonas and Cousin Romulus smoke some pinners, <laughs> <laughs> dude. And it, it's funny stuff. They've got a couple. It's some. It's some uh, calls that some some gentlemen are leaving back and forth, and some voicemails, and uh, brings a tear to my eye. Here you go. Hey, what's up, man? It's Jonas. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. I just woke up. Got fucked up last night. I was going to come through with my cousin Romulus and Edgar. And uh, still got about three quarters of this bottle left. And uh, Edgar said he has a couple pinners. Fuck it. And smoke some pinners and drink this whiskey. Get whiskey drunk today. And then tonight, I'm going to need you to spot me like 50. We go out. I'm going to pawn a couple of space heaters and a bike tomorrow. So I'll pay you back. So I'll be by in like half hour. Get fucked up. Smoke some pinners. Later. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so Pawn shops loving it. <laughs> I gotta love. How much do you get for a space heater? <laughs> pawn some space heaters. Oh I'm gonna pawn some space heaters God, tomorrow. Dude. <laughs> it kills me every time I hear Here's that. Here's your dollar twenty five for the space heater. <laughs> dude, that I'm looking right now. Go get messed oh, wait, up hang and on. smoke some pinners. Get whiskey drunk. Hey, what's up, man? Okay, Jonas. so. I'm looking here, dude. That video has 372,000 <laughs> downloads, dude. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys thought that was funny, um, I will put some uh, a link to this video. And, of course, they do a whole bunch of other videos, too. So, um, well, let, let me look here real quick and uh, see if we... Oh, maybe one of these days, LD will belly up and go get that tattoo that he wants. Never that, know. That is Never right, dude. No. Oh, you know what we should do? We should end. We should end the uh, With me episode. Cracking LD right in the jaw with a tech <laughs> tip. Oh, oh, tech tip. Oh yeah. Tech tip. Tech tip. I tech tip. See how hard we can hit him to get him out. Oh, yeah. him out. I'll shoot you. Tech <laughs> tip of the day. You guys like my tech tip? Tech tip music? No. Yeah, but you didn't play it in the last episode. I got a gun too, so it's going to be. I didn't because I didn't have it on the soundboard yet. Um, so shoot. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> tech tip of the day because I'm not been, real worried about. It. I've yeah, actually got right. some feedback on our tech tips, and uh, so I'm going to keep doing them because the tip of the day, just the tip. That is right. There are people that are enjoying our quick tech tips because law-abiding bikers are not always tech savvy. I am. As the two gentlemen sitting in my you studio. You don't say. You don't <laughs> say. Um, but no, you know, there's fun stuff. And everybody in the law-abiding biker community now, we all use, fa- you know, for the most part, use Facebook. We use Twitter. But I we can use- ride the hell out of my bike. <laughs> that is correct. Um, but we're all using that stuff to a certain extent, whether you know how to use it all or not. So here is the quick tech tip 
of the day. LD, it is for the iPhone. And if you have a tech tip for the uh, Android ever... Um, we don't want it. We don't want it. No, we do. Actually, because there are a lot of Android users out there. And, you know, I don't use them, so I can't give you tech tips on the Android. But I think you should come up with some of those, Popeye. You think you can? Yeah. Yeah, come up with some tech tips so we can give some Android users. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what the hell is that? Um, Sarge is texting me. He's all ticked off. So <laughs> He hasn't even heard it yet. Yeah, well, he can. It's not live. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just, he's imagining. Oh, he, knows it, he knows it's real bad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, LD, go to your iPhone. I'm on it. I'm ready for the tech And tip. you listeners. And go to, let's just go to your Facebook app. You can, now, you can guys can use this for uh, any app. You can use it for, uh, um, if you're on Safari, if you're surfing the So, we're going the, to Facebook. The web. Um, if you're surfing the web. If you're using an application, such as Twitter or Facebook or anything. Um, and as you s- LD, as you scroll down, I can ride yes. my bike with no- <laughs> that, sorry, that, that's an app. Um, yeah. So basically, you know how you scroll down on Facebook on your iPhone on the Facebook app? Yeah. Scroll way down. And scroll the way down. Okay. Now, all you have to do, people don't know this. You know, here's the deal. When you, uh, when you scroll down, you know, when you scroll down like that and then you close the app or you have to scroll all the way back up, right? To what? Close the app? No. Like like you want to get back to the top. Right. Right? What do you do? You push the top of the screen. That a boy. <laughs> Boom. Good job, dude. So a lot of people don't know that. You can touch the battery indicator or the clock. Um, I think up. I think you can just touch anywhere across that. You can bar. if you touch to the left, it will not do it. Go ahead and try it to the left over by. It just proved you wrong. <laughs> Stand by. If you pro- Stand go all by. the way over to the left, it will not do it. You have to hit the clock at the top, the time, or the battery indicator. Nope, you're wrong. Nope, absolutely not. I'm doing it right now. Can I punch him yet? It will not do it if I touch the left. Over where it's showing you how much service you have. No, 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 no. Yeah. See my if you touch. Okay, uh, why don't you watch my phone? Because apparently mine's <laughs> more high tech than yours. Apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, you freaking so, iPhone users. Just worked. Yeah, because that's a uh, search bar actually over there. Hmm. Yeah. If see you what pull, I if you pull down. Yeah. No, I'm talking about if you pull all the way up where it says AT and T. Right. Or your signal strength, it won't go up to the top for me. Hmm. Oh, it did. My bad. It just did. I was touching too far left. So if I'm you touch too far, tech redneck, everybody please document yeah. that. <laughs> if you touch too far left, you hit the search. I was looking if you hit you hit the search bar. But um, anyways, yeah. So that's a quick way, guys. Um, if you're on Twitter or Facebook or you're surfing the web and you're way down in a page, all you have to do is hit your battery indicator on your iPhone or your time or even the AT and T or I don't know what service you're with. I assume if you're with Verizon or whatever, you can hit that. And it immediately takes you back to the top of the page. Immediately. That is right. Boom. And that is the Law Abiding Biker Tech Tip of the the day. Tip of the day. Because we all don't have enough time, and that can save you a ton of time. So there you go. We cover everything here on Law Abiding Biker Media. I just want to play that, dude. I love that song. I can ride my bike with no handle. All right, guys. Anything else before we wrap up? We are over, and uh, that is all the time we have today. But if you have anything left, spit it now. Nothing. Or forever. Hold your peace. Nothing? All right, guys. I like Rob's vest. It's very ugly. Yeah. Uh, my, my vest. Post that's, a picture of that. Nope. That's why I did not take a picture of him in that ugly ass vest. Don't want to embarrass him. Nope, didn't want to embarrass him. Nope. This is my duck hunting vest. Yeah, pretty sure ducks yeah. will flare to that. Uh, we don't have a dress code here at Lab Media, apparently, and you can wear it's a duck hunting midnight. vest to you podcasting. Got here, you got me here in the middle of the night. Dude. <laughs> How many ducks have you shot this year? You're right. It is after midnight. Holy cow. Yeah. I haven't duck hunted this year. I got yeah. a screwed up shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. I shot more geese in one weekend last year. You Which shoulder's life. messed up, bro? My right one. Well, you don't know how to shoot with your left hand because yeah. as a rifle instructor, I teach my students how to shoot with both Boom. hands. I could not Boom. Hit a, I could not hit a duck on the fly with my left hand. Well, you can't hit a duck on the fly with your right hand. 
probably can't hit <laughs> anything with a pistol with your opposite hand either. Yeah. That I can shoot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what they all say. Sure. So anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of The Lab Podcast. We really appreciate it. Check all our episodes out. Rate us in iTunes. Give us a rating. Leave comments. Also, rate us in Stitcher Radio. Stitcher Radio. That's right. I want to thank uh, LD for being in the house. Thank you, LD. You're welcome. And thank you, Popeye, for being in the house. You bet. Good ride down on a cold day. Absolutely, guys. Um, yeah, if you want to donate, hit lawabidingbiker.com, and there's a PayPal button on the homepage, and you can donate there. If you want to go to forward slash buy videos, you can help us out, and by helping us out, you will also receive something in return which is a tutorial video so uh, that is another way to support us we appreciate it very much guys thank Keep you the rubber side down and the shiny side up. we're out boom like a trout like a trout <laughs>